Hello and welcome to my Simple Ground Workshop where today I am going to show you how I make my wooden crochet hooks. Today we'll be making a 6 millimeter size crochet hook. All you'll need is a utility knife or any other pocket knife. You'll also need at least two different grits of sandpaper. I have 100 grit and 220 grit sandpaper. You will also need to choose a section of branch from a hardwood tree or you can use a chopstick. Also look for a shape that you'd like to use and a length. Um, you can see here I have a few different options including a bent piece. It's whatever you feel is comfortable holding in your hand. To begin, take a look at the branch that you've chosen. Take a look at where the knots are placed and the length and what shape it might have. I've chosen one that's relatively straight but there is a little bit of a bend. I'm going to begin by removing all the bark. Pay special attention to the knots. We'll want to flatten them out. So you take a look at what we have here. It looks pretty. You can choose to leave it looking like this or you can choose to remove some more. So I've smoothed it off the edges and I might leave it at this point. This is where you will now choose to add the hook. Um, again, we are going to make a 6 millimeter size crochet hook. Crochet hooks are measured by the diameter so we'll want whatever end we're making the hook on to have the diameter that we're looking for, 6 millimeters. Um, the best way I've found to do this where we'll want it relatively uniform and round is to actually lay the sandpaper down and rub like this and rotate and turn now you can see that I've left this end flat for now we'll go ahead and make the hook and then we'll shape the head after we've made the hook you want to take a look at your end that you're going to be making a hook on before you make the hook choose the direction you want the handle to go I have this little bit of a curve so I'll probably want it curved in my hand which means I'll want the hook right about there so I'll go ahead and show you how to make the hook remember when making the hook um, you might fail a couple of times before you get it right don't worry I did it uh, myself and I might do it again during this video if you make a mistake this is how you remove it. And once you've cut deep enough through, you'll be able to remove it. Alright, again, choose the angle that you want. Choose where you want to place it. Start a little bit down from the top and make your notch. Be very careful. Now we're not going straight back in, remember, we're going on an angle. You can see on this technique, I reach up in and I curve it back out. Go slow, take little bites at a time. It's okay for this part to take some time. Again, I've shaped a hook. And now we'll try the top again. 
Remember, start on the side. Do a few motions this way. Do the opposite side the same way. So you want it to look something like this. Now we're going to shrink the head a little bit and bring it down. Now looking at the, the tip, we want to make somewhat of a V shape in the hook itself. <clears throat> the way I do that is take the edge of my sandpaper and run it along this direction. Now, don't push too hard. It doesn't take much. You just want to round it so it doesn't catch the yarn as we pull the yarn back through. <clears throat> we also want to take a little bit off that front side. Just like that. See if my camera will pick it up. You can see how this kind of makes the shape. Now we're going to take a little bit off the edges here. Once you've made the shape, the way that you want it. With the heavier grit sandpaper, you'll move to the lighter grit sandpaper. Keep in mind that all the rough edges will snag. All right, this is what your finished crochet hook will look like. Thank you again for watching my video. If you liked it, Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, there will be more videos to come. Visit my website, simpleground.com. We'll look forward to meeting you again.